Hey guys, Tegan here, back at it with episode 12 of Learn to Kite. In this episode, we're gonna be going through how to kite upwind. And this is arguably one of the most important topics in this whole process, because once you can kite upwind, you can kind of be an independent kiter and you can stay on the water for longer because you don't have to walk back upwind or body drag back upwind. So once you learn how to kite back upwind, you'll see your progression will just go through the roof because you're riding more and it'll ultimately become way more enjoyable. So again, a lot of onboard footage here so let's hop into my computer and dive straight in so diving straight into it riding upwind is pretty much a combination of all the factors that we've discussed in the previous episodes of learn to kite all combined together to complete this process effectively so riding upwind is essentially edging very effectively in the wind to drive yourself as well as the kite upwind in that wind column now there are quite a few factors that help this process significantly and we're going to go through those one by one so the first is to slow down the reason why we want to slow down is so that we can focus on digging that edge of the board deep into the water, allowing us to not get pulled in the direction of the kite and therefore ride upwind. The next step in this process combined with digging that edge of the board deep into the water is angling the board in a slightly upwind direction. So pointing the board slightly upwind and therefore driving us in that slightly upwind direction. Now the next factor that kind of ties in with both the edge control as well as the board angle aspect is arcing upwind instead of just trying to ride upwind immediately and therefore killing your speed and your power. So we want to edge upwind slowly. We don't want to ride in a direction that is essentially too upwind. And as I've mentioned, therefore kills your speed and your power and you end up sinking into the water. So to do this, start by riding downwind slightly to gain that speed and start planing your board. From there, start edging harder and directing or angling your board into the wind and you'll see that you'll start riding in a slightly upwind direction. Following on from that, once you get to a certain point, complete your transition and ride in the opposite direction following this exact same process and therefore you gain ground on each tack that you make. Then diving into the remaining factors in terms of riding upwind efficiently, the next is to turn your body in the direction that you want to ride. And this kind of goes hand in hand with your board angle. So by turning your body in the direction that you want to ride, and if you can, releasing that bottom hand from the bar so that you ride with one hand, opens up your body and naturally will turn your board in that upwind direction. Now the next factor to mention here is that if you're in quite a powered state in terms of your kite's power. So if you can feel your kite pulling you off your edge every now and then, I'd recommend depowering the kite using the trim system. What this will do is allow you to hold your edge more effectively and therefore avoid getting unnecessarily pulled in the direction of the kite. Then the final factor I want to mention here is in terms of how you lean against that power of the kite when trying to ride upwind. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, it is essential that you lean with your shoulders and not lean with your bum. So again, ensure that you're leaning with your shoulders and not leaning with your bum. This will ensure that you maintain a very good posture in terms of riding posture, and this will allow you to ride upwind much more effectively. So that was it for learning to kite upwind. If you have any questions or anything to add there, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This can be a bit of a tedious process to learn, but I can guarantee you, you'll feel like a superhero when you, when you get it. So stick at it, you will get it. So that was it for this episode. Hope you liked that. Like, subscribe if you did, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.